All right, guys, so I have uh, set up a light trap here and one down here on this little trail, uh, no name key. It's, this is April 13th. Ow, just ran into a branch. Um, April 13th, no name key. Uh, got two light traps on this trail. So this is like more of a hardwood hammock right by the coast. Um, and so I've got one in the Pinelands too, and I've got two bait traps. So we'll see how they do. We're going to put our mercury vapor out, light out too, but that'll be another video. So, all right, guys, we're going to get to this. Okie dokie. Uh, night two, no name key, light trapping. So we'll start opening these suckers up and see what's in them. All right. Upon opening the trap, Initially, it's not very impressive, not nearly as impressive as last night's. Um, I just have a uh, sense of media here, Epileus, and uh, this one's fair. This is a uh, Oxidia Cubana, a Cuban geometric spanworm. Um, it's actually a pretty decent specimen, but other than that, that's a mulberry bore. I don't know what you're doing here. It's actually a decent moth. He's a cute little guy. Not a whole lot to be excited about in here, guys. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, let me let me dump this out on a tray and see if I can see anything better. All right, trap number two looks dismal, guys. There's I see a Centomedia. There's actually a little salt marsh moth, uh, Peralid. That's pretty interesting. But guys, other than that, this trap is really, there's just not a lot here. Unfortunately, guys, actually, that's a new one for me. That little moth right there is a new new one for my, my uh, project. I gotta check that out and see what it is. All right, guys, last trap. Also, no name key. The more of a hardwood hammock trap. And this one. This one probably has less larger, definitely has less larger moths. Sure. Let's see what we got. Oops. I'm gonna put my my jar there. Uh, we've got a grodia. So grodia is real common. Masala is real common. Epidromia is common. There's a lot of common bugs in here, guys. Grodia again. A little knock to it. Epidromia. A brown knock to it or pyralid. Epidromia. Now. That one's in, where'd it go? This one right here, guys, is interesting. It's a uh, Geo, it's got a little white spot and it's four wing. And I've never seen that one before. It's got a very interesting shaped wing. So that's, could be a new species for our uh, keys record. That's. 
Like, that's the kind of thing, like, guys, that little bug right there could be the entire reason I come down. It would be worth it to get one new species to the list. So all the other stuff is fun and interesting, and it's, it's data, but, you know, we, we want the new stuff. I'm trying to find out what species live down here, and we're still, we're still discovering new ones, so... I like discovering new ones. It's a good thing. Okay. Yeah, so there's not a whole lot else. There's a few more grodii. Um, we'll put the rest of the, the dregs of this trap on our tray and sift through it inside. All right, trap number two. This is going to be from... No name key in the hammock. And we've got some bugs, guys. We've got some freaking bugs, dude. Heck yeah. Look at this. That's actually a good bug right there, guys. And so is that. You pseudosoma involutum. That's a good one, man. Arctia, red abdomen, tropical. That's a cool bug. Um, let's see. Let's get this ethyl can out. Did a lot better than I anticipated, believe it or not. Um, let's see, we got a Tursa Sphinx. Right. We've got a, let's see, False Window Sphinx. It's a black mangrove feeder. We've got a number of these polka dotted wash moths. Some people know these as the ones that that tear up your oleander. But they're pretty, man. We've got, let's see, three of those. Okay. That one's really pretty. And then... We've got some of these. These are um, Heterocampa Zyassi. Got a number of those. Got another one of these really cool geometrics right here. That's a good bug. It's really windy, guys. Oh, yeah. Another Yasudosoma involutum. Nastaya. Uh, looks like Melopotus prolata. I've got a Groat Sphinx, Cotethia grotii. Some kind of Epidromia. I forget which one that is. Rotundata, maybe. Sayasi. It's a Pyactes. Or Zyasi. This is a cool little bug. Bernesia ferva, like red. Cool bug. Okay, let's see.
we've got more bugs in here, guys. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm going to go dump this on my tray, and we'll look over this inside. All right, guys. Trap number two, again, does not look so good. I mean, there's a couple moths in there. But just pyralids and micros and stuff. And just a few beetles. So that's disappointing, guys. Two out of three is kind of a strikeout, to be honest. Okay. Um, overnight, the wind picked up. It's probably... 20 to 20 sustained right now 25 miles an hour maybe um this trap was in the pinelands i had those two traps in the hammock at no name key and so now we're going to open them up and see how they did right off the bat we got a little geo sitting on the vein but hopefully we got more than that to show off Okay, moment of truth. Oh, there's some moths. Not a lot. There's some moth activity. Okay, first thing we'll do is let's get these ethyl cans up. Uh, the first one I'm seeing is that guy right there. Pseudocarus minima. Fantastic. Got several um, Nastaya Udomea. This is Epidromia rotund rotundata. But moth of the trip so far is that guy right there. Pseudocarus minima. Level two. Oh, we got another one. Good. Good. Yummy. Let's see. Geo. Geo. Not a whole lot else. Somehow I missed this. Cautethia grotii. Grote sphinx. Sitting right on the top. Ooh, not a whole lot more. It's a lot of little stuff. What I'm going to do is uh, I'll put this stuff in a container and we'll sift through it. Um, the rest of it will go to Beetle Expert. And he'll pick out the beetles and identify them. So, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. For